Lonely Farm Guy here, and this is the Pavelli Rat Pack by DDMod Passion on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map for this test and demonstration of this, um, well, trailer, bale and low loader trailer. 12.31 uh, megabytes to download. Only one slot on console. I don't know how he did it, but yes, one slot only on console. So that's pretty incredible, if I do say so. So this is an interesting mod. Let's get into it. First of all, where do we find it? Well, they're in two places, and it's uh, this is the first interesting thing about this. We have one in bail loaders, and there it is, $30,000. And we also have one in low loaders. There it is, $30,000. So this is exactly the same uh, item as we can see here in mods and DLCs. We have two of them. And yes, so one appears to be a low loader and one appears to be a bail loader. However, let's go, to, let's go cho choose the low loader one and I'll show you what I mean. So here it is. However, uh, it yes, it does start out as low loader, but you can switch it to a bale loader. So in essence, they're both identical. One of them just starts out as a bale loader if you go to bale loaders, and one starts out as a low loader in low loaders. So we have one, I have one of each on um, to show you. So we're gonna go with bale loaders just because it, um, it gives a few extra, the options are identical, except the bale loader one has more options and we'll, we'll talk about that. So, wheel brands, Continental, Trailborg, BKT, and Continental. So, we have a couple of choices in Continental, not a whole lot of choices there, but pretty standard stuff there. Brands colored, now this is, we've seen this a few times in a few other mods. We have the Pavel, uh, Pavelli, I believe. We have a case uh, color brand selection, cloth, Dutzfar, Fint, two Fints, a JCB, John Deere, a Kubota, Landini, Massey Ferguson, McCormick, New Holland, Steyr, Voltra, Zeter, a black, and then back to Pavelli. So a thousand dollars if you want to choose. That's the only, uh, well not, that isn't the only color choices. Uh, let's just go with um, class because it's different. Loading mode. So you can have manual as if it's just a regular bale loading trailer or automatic as in auto load bale trailer. Very nice. Beacons. We have a flashing beacon. Beacon that is right there on the back above that little 40 decal or rotating. So two kinds of um, flashers, uh, rear lights design one, two, three, or one, two, three. So three choices for lights. Uh, name the name the there's its numbers. Where do the number? There it is, right at the front left corner there, all the way up to nine, I believe. Oh, and all the letters. So all the letters up to Z. We have a ball hitch or a pin hitch. Your choice, very nice. Air hose, spiral or not spiral. Again, your choice, no charge there. Tension belt color, orange or yellow or no. So you can choose no tension belts. Type of license plate, map specific or Italian. We can cho choose the hub color, any one of these custom colors here. Actually, Massey, Ferguson, McCormick, New Holland, so you can choose it. Where's the class? Where are you? There it is. So you can choose a matchy-matchy class, and then rim color silver, chrome, white, or black. Let's see, the chrome is gonna cost you two grand. Yes, chrome is expensive. And then license plate, right, so. Let's um, let's talk about the bale loader first. Uh, this is, except for the, of 
course, let's get our help window on here. There we go. Uh, you can fasten and manually fasten and unfasten the, the tension belts as normal. Let's hop in to our little John Deere tractor. Well, medium John Deere, tra large John Deere tractor. So, this will pick up square and round bales. However, um, so let's talk about that first. Um, transport position. There we go. Now it's ready to pick up whatever you want to pick up. And why is it now? Now it is not unfastened tension. Uh, interesting that this does not give me the option anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Right, so we are in that L1 and square. Right, start charging. Right, so that means activate the auto load. Uh, now, now, where did it go? Interesting. Okay, so let's pick some bales up. Um, it's odd because I had a choice before as to what size of bales. So 50 of the smaller bales. These are just the bales, uh, round bales that I bought out of the store. Pretty standard stuff. Oops. So 52 bales. Right. I'm a little confused because I there's an there is an option that didn't show that's now not that showed that's now not showing and I'm not sure what's going on um, a little bit of an interesting thing with the signals notice I have my right signal on on the tractor however the left signal is uh, showing on so I'm going to turn on my left signal now and the right signal so the wires are crossed somewhere uh, minor thing I don't think anyone actually uses signals but just something to be aware of beacon there it is we'll turn that off okay so that way we've had it loaded it pretty much well it acts just like a regular bail auto bail loader with uh with those kind of options we'll show you unloading it here in a moment so l1 triangle and now we have l1 and right stick left and right and up and down is forward and backwards so let's i do believe it goes quite a ways back yes get there's quite a range of movement and uh that is quite a range of movement to from side to side as well so we have lots of range there r1 and right stick we can rotate it or raise it and lower it uh wow that's really high and uh that's as low as it goes so that's it's gonna if you're dropping it it's gonna drop from that height and then l1 and r1 and right stick left and right you can tilt it back and forth like so so now we can unload bales here there they go a um, couple of other things l1 and r1 and a left stick left and right you can extend or shorten or extend that hitch like so very nice l1 and up on your d-pad um you have retract the uh, tension belts although r1 and right stick oh there now we have now we have the choice oh i see no now i see why fasten belts R1, yeah, L, L1 and up on your D-pad. Un, unfastens that wire there. And now R1, and now you have bail configuration, round bail, round 180, square bail. So let's choose the 180. Transport, start charging. Will it still pick up the smaller bales? Yes, it will. Oddly enough, I'm not sure why there's that choice there. To be quite honest, um, right. 
square bales, round bales. See bale configuration. You can choose that, but it still picked up the same bales that I had when I had it set at. Let's set it at square bales, just because. And drop them off. L1 and triangle. Start charging. Start charging means activate the uh, auto load. And will it pick up? Yes. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure why there's a choice there. Perhaps it's a PC thing. Remember, I'm on I'm on console, so sometimes things work just a bit different on console opposed to PC, and the modders cannot test things on console before they submit the mod to the mod hub. So, anything else interesting here? Yes, well, aside from that, um, so it doesn't really matter. The tension belt lifting and lowering does not seem to affect anything. Let's go here and start charging, and I will show you. We'll, I'll load up the square bales. How about that? And then we'll move on to the low loader. The low loader is pretty uh, pretty straightforward, but we will... So square bales are 32. 32 square bales, and it seems to be um, they... Um, yeah, just like so. Does it um, pick up liftable bales? That's a great question. We'll try that. Let's unload these and buy a few liftable bales. Stop. Unload. And... Um, okay. Let's try that one more time. Unload bales. There we go. And unload them. Right. I don't expect um, it to pick up liftable bales, but I have a few here. Let's try the square bale, no, the round grass 180 liftable bales. Let's just buy eight of them. And why did it say I didn't have any room? Oh, I don't have enough. Yes, I've got too many bales. Hold on. All right, so here you go. No, it will not pick up liftable bales. Bale is not supported. Liftable bales are not supported. So this will not pick up liftable bales. It does not say it does, so that's not an issue. Just I know someone would probably ask. So there's your answer there. No, it does not pick up liftable bales. Right, so moving on to the low loader version of this trailer and as you can see here I have uh, actually loaded a couple of little case tractors on this let's go for a little spin shall we and see um, how well is it balanced with those tractors on there do they move around it appears that they are quite solidly attached to the trailer and the trailer does seem to um, operate it's not tippy necessarily no it's oh it's a little bit tippy oh and that back gate f flops around a little bit that's interesting oh that is interesting uh, it's not it's not a bad thing it's just interesting okay so <laughs> l1 and x unfold the trailer and that puts down the gate right r1 and pressing the right stick un unlatches the tension belts and then you can get in and drive the vehicle off like so so pretty normal stuff there now i i did notice that this has um no the bail unload um, things right stick and bail configuration um, however it does not load bales unless you want to put them on manually but um, yeah so we can fold the trailer again L1 and up unfasten or now it's fastening them 
Um, right, so we still have, yeah, everything else is the same here. We have the left stick L uh, and R1 and L1 and the left stick there for the trailer hitch and yeah, but it will not pick up bales. Um, I guess it's just there because it's there. So um, if you want to use it as a auto load bale trailer, you just go uh, back to a repair area and reconfigure it as um, auto load bale trailer. And then you can be on your way doing that. Um, but you cannot lower the gate on if it's configured to a bale trailer you cannot lower this to load vehicles on you have to l configure it to the low loader and it will load vehicles and you can lower that so anyways there you go that's the pavelli rat pack by dd bod passion on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now Thank you